Hello my fellow gamers and this is Skylines Mayors to this guide about the problems of not enough workers and not enough educated workers which leads to abandoned buildings. I'm going to explain to you the workers and workplaces game mechanics as well as all the issues which often arise from these concepts and show you what is responsible for them. As this guide, like all my previous tutorials and guides, is both for newcomers and experienced players, it will be informative but also educational, which is kind of funny but also appropriate because half the problem I will be talking about is the education of in-game sims. So let us first address the main difference between two similar issues which have completely different causes, the not enough workers and not enough educated workers messages you get from the industrial and commercial zones respectively. Do keep in mind that later I will explain why the message on the industrial buildings can be caused by two separate underlying problems. I am going to be using this totally new city, purpose built for this video guide to showcase all of this to you. I actually made it into its own video as I enjoyed building the city so much that I made a speed build timelapse video for your viewing pleasure. Link is up here on the right and in the description where you will also find a link to my entire playlist of guides and tutorials for City Skylines. For anybody who is new to my channel, my name is Peter and let's continue with the explanations. Since every city begins with a residential zone, it inevitably has unemployment issues after the first sims move in. This is first reduced by zoning for commercial shops as they require some workers and then completely rectified by adding generic industry which has the most workplaces of any zonable building especially once it is leveled up. The balance of workers and workplaces is quickly achieved for one simple reason. All the open jobs are for uneducated sims. And this is exactly the level of education all new sims move in with. You can clearly see this using the education overlay as it will show you the breakdown of sims education levels. So as long as you keep adding new RCA zones in a balanced fashion, something I explained in depth in my previous tutorial about RCA zone demand and the lack thereof, link up here and in the description you won't have any reason to get the not enough workers or not enough educated workers messages, right? Well, no. It's quite more complicated than that. The first education level sims can reach is from the elementary schools and it's called educated, as opposed to their original uneducated level. This is all part of the regular progression the game guides you through with the milestones when you play in the normal mode. The shops built in commercial zones are the ones which have a dual need for such sims. First reason is that they cannot level up unless wealthy sims stop by and shop in them and the second reason is that once they do level up, they have new open jobs which now require more and better educated sims. An example of this is a level 2 shop which requires uneducated, educated and even well educated sims. And just to clarify, in this game education, among other things, increases land value which makes for wealthier citizens. So no education means no wealth and we will circle back to this later in the video. Another important concept to understand is that children do not work, but spend their time getting educated. So they make up the wealthy and educated sims who go into shops making them level up. While you still do not have older sims who are of working age, who cannot go and work in those workplaces for the educated. You have to wait for those kids who now have higher education to become old enough to go and work in those workplaces in the shops. And here is where we come to the next problem. Where are all those well-educated sims to come from? Because at this point you most likely do not have a high school built and even if you do, there hasn't been enough time for sims to go from uneducated to educated in schools and then go from educated to well-educated in that high school and grow up to become part of the workforce. But the shops do not care. They have open jobs, new workplaces with those requirements. This is by game design. Now I do not want to go into whether this should or shouldn't be like this as there is enough of that for an entire video so we will take this fact at its face value for the duration of this guide. And this lack of educated workers gets even worse because as soon as some of your sims get that high school degree and visit a shop it can level up once more to its final third level and at that level it requires even better highly educated workers, ones that only a university can deliver. This is quite a high requirement and it is often far away from the player's price range and unlock level in a normal game. This is also the point at which most players first face abandoned buildings because there is simply no way for them to deliver highly educated workers so soon. The shops will put up the not enough educated workers sign and even put up with the lack thereof for a time but in the majority of cases this will end with the shop being abandoned 
because of this problem. The most annoying but also quite interesting thing about all of this is that the player not only cannot do anything about this besides building that high school and university, but he just has to wait. That's right, you haven't done anything wrong. You followed the game design and this abandonment is actually because you followed the game's rules to the letter. These shops, they are the ones which level up too fast, faster than their open jobs can be filled by sims who cannot gain the education level at the same speed. I know this is probably the last advice you expected to get about this problem, but it is actually the best advice on how to deal with it. Simply ignore it. It goes away on its own once the education level of your sims catches up with the shop's open job requirements for educated, well-educated and highly educated workers. And this is also a place where that wealth level of residential buildings I mentioned before comes into play. Because not only do homes get bigger and able to accommodate more families per each new level, they also provide higher levels of wealth for those families. And this is why sims, who are actually already educated, start moving into your city and into those slots in leveled up residential homes. So now you get newly moved in sims who are educated and even some of them highly educated. This is why the wealth mechanic is multifaceted and it is something almost all players miss even after playing the game for a long time. Alright, so I hope that clears up the whole not enough educated workers problem of commercial zones for you. I bet you learned some new things you didn't know up to now and will remember not to do anything but wait for it to clear up the next time you are in this problem. Before I move on to the industry and it's not enough workers problem, please consider liking this video and leaving a comment about your most common problems with this game as this will help both me and other players as they will have an easier time finding this video. And if you want to watch more similar videos, remember to subscribe and even click on that bell icon to get notified next time I post. Now let us continue. Industry zone and its buildings are problematic because different industrial specializations are specific in their requirements. For example, when generic industry levels up with access to services and educated sims, it requires even more educated sims of all levels. But if you do not give it services, it will be stuck on a lower level and won't need all those better educated sims, creating unemployment. If you are in the process of educating your population, those generic industry buildings will be seeing not enough workers. Luckily, there is a mechanic and even a mod which allows for sims to be overeducated for their workplace. But that is a whole other can of worms, so let's move on. If you zone a lot of specialized industries on the other hand, you can have both unemployment or not enough workers depending on which kind of industry it is. This is because your workers education level might not match the industry's open job education requirements. You should know that agriculture and forestry specialized industry requires exclusively uneducated workers while oil and ore specialized industry require uneducated, educated and well-educated workers. So here you might see not enough workers sign, but you won't be able to know does it mean not enough workers in general or just not enough workers of the education level those industries require. Here at least there are a few things you can do about it. First of all, adding totally new residential zones is a simple way of adding new, uneducated workers into your city. But if you need the educated kind instead, then helping older residential zones level up with higher wealth levels so educated sims move in is the way to go. Boosting your district's education with a policy is also a viable solution. It is important that you follow the education overlays and the population overlays so that you can track the open jobs number as well as the unemployment percentage in correlation with the education levels and the percentages of your sims. This will give you the extra information necessary to figure out do you lack workers in general or do you just have a mismatch of the education levels of your workers and your workplaces. So you might have a situation where you have unemployment and yet the industrial buildings will have the not enough workers sign. This is why keeping track of multiple sets of overlays and information datasets is important to be able to figure out what is the actual cause of the multitude of problems which all end up falling under the not enough workers umbrella. The ultimate so-called solution can be achieved by placing a Hydran Collider Wonder in your city like I did in my city of Bedrock which I made during a monumental 101 episode let's play on the hard mode no less with the objective of reaching 1 million population with no cheats. Its population is almost entirely highly educated but regardless of the hundreds of thousands of open jobs for lower educated workers, they are all working in those jobs. This is an extreme example of the overeducated workers mechanic which protects you from an overeducated population and makes buildings operate even in this situation. It sure is gamey and not realistic but this is a game after all. 
And on that note, I do hope this video was of help to you in learning to play City Skylines even better than before. I would like to thank you for watching and I wish you all happy gaming.